My name is Kawanda Bose, and I'm from Miami, Florida, currently living in Los Angeles, California. Well, I just saw a big sign uh, downtown LA that said The Voice, and I'm like, oh wow. So I noticed that the line was kind of short, it was the end of the day, and I just got in line, and I'm here with you today. I'd have to call out my best friend, Carla Martinez, who's She's an esteemed big shot attorney in uh, Miami, Florida, and she just has been with me every step of the way in this thing. And every step, not just in this thing, but in my musical journey too, she's always encouraged me and told me that, hey, you can do it, man. So thank you, Carla. <laughs> oh, you know, it's so cliche, I hate to say this, but uh, it happened in church. My grandfather's a minister. And um, I got a solo. It was, I think it was a song called Victory Is Mine. And I, you know, the crowd got up and got them hyped and they were all clapping. So I was like, I could get used to this, you know? So ever since then, um, I started singing. And then like some, maybe a few years later, I picked up piano, no lessons, just started playing by ear. And I played well enough to my grandfather that he hired me as the musician at his church. And he paid me 50 bucks a week. And so ever since then, I've just been a full-time musician. At the tender age of 10, I started, yeah. There was never a plan B. There was never a plan B. I went to school, I went to, uh, I, I studied at college for a couple of years, you know, you gotta make mom happy. Uh, you know, finish, 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 but I just, I got used to making money, you know, through music. And I saw that my friends who had graduated, and some, some with masters, they didn't make as much as I was making without a master's, not a, by, without even a bachelor's. So I was like, I don't really see the point in it. And I, I, I tell myself, you know, all the time, you know, maybe when I'm 50 years old, I'll go back to school and do it, you know, yeah. The blind auditions were probably the most, that was probably the most, uh, horrific day of my life, like as far as nerves are concerned, because I just was like, oh my God, what if they don't turn? I'm on national TV, and just a bunch of stuff just races through your head, and it's all fear, you know, and, you know, forget fear, you know. I, I just went out there, and I sang to the people, and I totally forgot about those chairs, you know? And when I realized, maybe a couple of lines into my song, oh my God, one, two, three, you know, I was just, I'm grateful for it, man. Adam is something else. <laughs> in so many words. He's, um, he's telling it like it is. Um, he's very straight to the point, which I love. That's just the East Coast thing, you know, we're straight to the point people. Um, and uh, he gives very uh, constructive criticism as well. And I love him as a coach. I wouldn't have chosen anybody else. Of course, growing up in church, um, everything gospel, and I'll name maybe three that I love. The Clark sisters were a huge influence. Uh, James Hall out of New York, who I know you don't know, um, and a vocalist out of uh, Oakland, and his name is Daryl Coley. And uh, those three were, were uh, very influential in my, in my upbringing. But, um, you know, when I did become an, an adult and I began to discover phenomenal bands like Steely Dan and uh, Earth, Wind & Fire, as well as the Doobie Brothers, as well as uh, the production side, David Foster and Quincy Jones, you know, they were definitely a part of my uh, musical journey too. I really enjoy performing soul music, you know, and I say that because I think you can kind of put soul in anything, any genre that you do, and be true to it. Uh, with the voice, you know, because your songs are, are, are a lot of times chosen by your coach, I'm like, okay, this may stretch me a bit, and, you know, I'm just here, and I'm up for the challenge, you know, uh, building my range, um, becoming more versatile um, as an artist. As far as the voice is concerned, I didn't know it was going to be such hard work, in a nutshell. Uh, interviews coaching, staging, 
uh, this, that, it's just always something. It's just like a machine, you know? And um, what I do love about it is um, I like that it's kind of like a little university in a sense, you know? You get to learn, you know, once you do the Grammys and once you do the, the stuff that we all aspire to do, hey, this is what you have to do to be successful, uh, to give a successful performance, to give a successful interview, blah, 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 you know?